Question six. Now, the best thing when you're faced with mixed fractions is to turn them into top heavy fractions. And then we do the calculations. So two and a quarter is the same as nine quarters. And we're going to multiply that by, so three and a third is the same as, well, each, each, if I think about each whole one, that's three thirds, isn't it? So we've got three of them, that's nine, plus the extra one. So we've got ten thirds. So let's multiply that together. So we've got 90 over 12. Let's have a look to see if it cancels down. So they're both even, 45 over 6. Let's keep going. Uh, 3 goes into both of them, goes 15 over 2. And that's the same as 7 and a half. Now what you could have done there, if you like being able to cancel, sort of cross cancel, just look at this. I could have done this. That 9 cancels with that 3, 3 over 1. And that 10 cancels with the 4, 5 over 2. And that gives me 15 over 2, which equals 7 and a half. Probably a slightly easier method. Now let's have a quick look at part B. It says write the numbers 3, 4, 5, 6 in the box in, boxes there to give the greatest possible total, you may write each number only once. Now, I'm straight away, I'm going to think about the 6 and the 5. I want them to be sitting there on their own. So I want those to go in there. And now I just need to think about the 3 and the 4. Now, I'm going to go with, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, so I'm, I'm going I'm to try it out. I'm going to go with 3 there and a 4 there. Now, I'm quite happy about the 6 and the 5 being in the right place. So if I think about a quarter plus 2 thirds, first of all. So if I, if I just think about what those add together to give me, and that's going to equal... Uh, make them over 12, so that's 3 over 12 plus 8 over 12, so that's 11 over 12, okay? Now the other possibility that I could have had is I could have had a third plus 2 over 4. I'm running out of room in my corner there, so I'll do it up here. Make it over 12, so that will be 4 over 12. And then plus 6 over 12, which is 10 over 12. My hunch was correct over here. That gave me 11. So I'm quite happy with that. So I just needed to explore the different ideas. Yeah, It was obvious that 6 and 5 had to go into those first two numbers. Um, there's, there's the whole numbers. And then I was just having a little play around with the 4 and 3, which way down they would go.